Hello everybody, Wait, welcome to uh, Stuff on the Floor Studios, my own home little studio. A while ago, a friend of mine across the pond by the name of John Palmer, uh, he did a video on these guitar picks he got. And I've been using the same guitar picks for years that he's been using. And he recently got uh, these guitar picks from Gravity. Uh, these are the ones I got. Um, I just got them last week, haven't had a chance to try them until just recently this morning. And uh, I gotta tell you, I was skeptical at first that uh, these would be any good compared to what I've been using. And uh, with the particular way that I hold the pick, which is very similar to Jay Palmer, George Lynch, uh, I hold the pick on its side like this. So I'm actually picking with the side of the pick. I'm not picking like normal people do with the very pointy end of the pick. And uh, I was amazed at how articulate this is. And uh, the notes come out a lot louder. And uh, it actually is easier picking with this particular pick. The pick that I've been using for probably about the past 15 years is right here. It's a... Uh, Big Chubby, I believe it's called. Uh, it's a two millimeter, uh, just like the uh, Gravity Pick that I got. Now, uh, last year or the year before, my brother also plays guitar. Uh, he fell in love with a particular pick, and that's also a two millimeter, and it's a Dunlop Gator Pick, this right here. And I went out and I bought a bag of them, uh, probably about 50 of them or something like that to try them out and they they're not too bad but uh i just couldn't use them they they weren't very good for me but i keep them around anyways for a variety now uh i'd have to say back in 1986 1987 when i uh, really started taking the guitar more seriously i started out with these picks and these are the dunlop tortoise uh 1.14 millimeter and uh, they're still not too bad of a pick. Uh, they're pretty stiff, a little flimsy, but uh, they do work. But I haven't used these probably in about 15 years. But uh, I just keep all my stuff that I have. So I have picks everywhere. You know, when my parents retired, they moved to Florida. And uh, they're still finding guitar picks in their boxes and stuff that they're still, my parents were still unpacking years ago. So, uh, anyways. I ordered the picks, I got them, uh, I ordered them from a guy on eBay, uh, and uh, I get the picks, and he sent me the wrong picks. He sent me these, these are the three millimeter uh, Gravity Sunrise picks. I didn't try these, uh, it seems a little thick for me, but uh, I'm going to give them a try. I got to send the baggie of them back that he sent me. Uh, he said I could keep one, thank you. But uh, I, I'm most likely going to send these back and get another packet of the uh, Sunrise ones that I ordered. So uh, when I get time, I'll do another video of uh, the articulation of the pick and uh, try the different picks that uh, I've used over the years and uh, see how it all works out and uh, see how it all sounds. Um, I don't know when I'll post the video, but I'll get around to it eventually uh, when I have more time to actually play and, you know. So, Jay, thanks for uh, doing the actual demo of the uh, picks. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even touch them or believe that these were any good because this little packet of picks, I think, was like $33. And five picks they're acrylic um, I'm not sure of the process that uh, they use to make these most picks are injection molded uh, I've been in the injection molding business for the past 20 years now so I'm gonna guess that maybe these are injected molded and then they grind them down by hand but that's just a guess I can't you know tell you how their molding process is. I can tell you with the Big Chubby 
that I've been using for the past, I don't know, 20, 15 years or so, that these are injection molded acrylic picks. Uh, the, it gets injected into a mold and uh, there's a runner through the mold guiding the flow of plastic into the cavity block that makes the pick. And when the pick pops out, uh, I'm guessing it's still stuck to the runner or their subgate sucks when uh, of the design of the mold because every time they I picked any of these up, I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, you could see, yeah, you can see it a little bit right there, the rough edge. That's where the gate is when they break it off of the runner. I've had to sandpaper these down and file them down because I hold the pick on its side like this. So the gate sometimes, you would, with the way I hold and the, sometimes this pick would slide around in my hand, um, it would be edgy and it would catch the string wrong and the, strip, the pick would hang up on the string and make, make it very difficult to play. So that's where I ended up getting a file or sandstone or whatever was available to me when I was doing it and uh, sanding and grinding that down to a smooth edge so it wouldn't hang up. So I would highly suggest to anybody pick up some gravity picks. Um, the sun rises with the uh, edges ground down are fantastic. I would suggest getting ones with a hole in it, whether it be the multi-hole or the one hole that they make. They are expensive, so if you're on a budget, buy one. It'll cost you like four bucks. I don't know how much shipping will be, but uh, try to figure out what pick you're using now and then buy the equivalent from Sunrise, go from there, and uh, or from Gravity, excuse me. Sunrise is the one I'm using, Gravity is the company. So that's what I would do if I were you, buy one. You can buy them on Sweetwater too. Sweetwater has them, and uh, I think I saw them on there for $3.99. I just got mine on eBay because I wanted a multi-pack and just buy them all in one final swoop and order it. So, uh, Try them. They're the Gravity Picks on Rise 2 millimeters, or order other ones. But uh, depending on what type of style you play, I would say get the ones with the ground off edges and uh, get them with a hole because the acrylic gets really slippery. Uh, if you watch Jay Parr's video, um, he got the mini Sunrise, I think he said, and uh, he didn't get any with the holes. So he had to. Uh, grind or sandpaper the edge so the pick doesn't slide around on him. But if you watch how he's playing, he's getting a little bit more articulation out of his picking with this pick. So give him a try, see what you think. I'll do a video as soon as uh, uh, it's possible. I just, I don't have time to hook this up right now. And uh, with my work being the way it is, I'm too busy to play much at all. So uh, thanks for coming. Uh, Stuff on the floor video uh, studios. Uh, I'm about uh, 60 miles outside Chirac. Uh, so, thanks. Have a good one.